Hi guys, Jagosdorf here and this time I have something a little bit different for you, something a little bit more creatively random. So my father-in-law used to be a hunter, which is much more of a big deal here in Eastern Central Europe, way more than in the States. There is a lot of ceremony and fancy clothes and stuff like that involved, but I digress. The point is, me and my wife have a lot of skulls and trophies at our home. But just regular ass skulls seem way too macabre to hang up. Not our style. We painted most of them already, with this one still waiting for its turn. So now, its turn has come. I'm not going to talk too much about the whole process, because I am no professional artist and to be honest there was very little thought behind it all, apart from it looking nice. As you just saw, I first plan out the basic layout with a pencil and I want each part of the skull to be in a different hue of blue, with some yellow and silver accents for some contrast. I am simply blocking out the main colors while listening to some prime, prime music. Oh god, I love this soundtrack. My idea is to have some blocky shading with light colors on top and darker down below. It didn't really pan out like this to be honest, but oh well. To achieve some contrast I add yellow around some accents and in general around the outline of the skull. The inside gets painted orange for some depth and basic shading. And at some point I was thinking about leaving it as it is. I kinda like the striking garish colors and so did my wife. And if it was meant to be just a piece of art hanging on a singular wall, you know, as a centerpiece, I'd probably leave it like that. But sadly it has to vibe with the rest of my stuff. But no worries, it's just a skull, there will definitely be more to be found, so yeah, I can still try it out. For the next step I took out my newest toy for a spin, oil washes. An oil wash is just some oil paint diluted down to basically being a very thin ink. You can also see me use it on my model observatory project over there. All the yellow and orange parts get covered in this brown wash, which gives it some depth, brings out the bone structure back again, makes it look less flat and plastic. The blue parts, on the other hand, get covered in a deep purple wash, which sadly kinda washed out the borders between the bottom and the middle part. But uh, yeah, oh well, lesson learned. After the wash dried, which took a good few days, I dry brushed the skull in some places, just to lighten up again a bit. At this point I also decided that I want a fun little gradient under the eye sockets, which is easily achieved with a dry brush.
and I finish it all up with some mystical silver squigglies uh, just to tell everyone hey I'm a basic bitch with no sense of style and I know it yeah And that's how it came out. Not a piece of art to be hung up in the Museum d'Orsay, um, but a nice little decoration to put on your wall nonetheless. If you want to see more garbage made by me, consider subscribing and follow me on Instagram. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks. Bye.